Number 1. Cape Cod National Seashore This national park system destination features 40 miles of sandy beaches, marshes, ponds, and uplands. There are also lighthouses, cranberry bogs, and historic sites to check out at Cape Cod National Seashore. You can enjoy swimming beaches, biking trails, and to learn about the region, or join a ranger program to do snorkeling, hiking, canoeing. Number 2. Blackstone River and Canal Heritage State Park Blackstone River and Canal Heritage State Park spans about 1,000 acres and has both trails and historical sites. Popular things to do are fishing, hunting, picnicking, canoeing, horseback riding, and biking. Cross-country skiing and hiking are also fun seasonal activities. It's fun to walk along the historic canal that was once used for trading purposes in the 1800s. Number 3. Bash Bish Falls State Park Bash Bish Falls State Park is home to the tallest single-drop waterfall in Massachusetts and is a great place to take a picnic or go for a hike. It is also fun to explore the nearby Mount Washington State Park and Taconic State Park over the border in New York while here. This is a day-use park that is open from sunrise to 30 minutes after sunset. Number 4. Boston Harbor Islands National and State Park Boston Harbor Islands National and State Park is close to Boston city center and made up of 34 islands and peninsulas. It's fun to explore this area by hopping on board a ferry, which is operated seasonally. Come for a family-friendly, rustic retreat, a quiet vibe, and stunning views on a summer day. Enjoy a picnic, explore a historic fort. Number 5. Mount Greylock State Reservation To visit the highest point in Massachusetts, check out Mount Greylock State Reservation that stands at 3,491 feet. You can see up to 90 miles from the peak and enjoy the park from dawn to dusk. You can drive your car to the summit, check out the visitor center, and set out on a hiking trail based on your skill level. Number 6. Halibut Point State Park You can see the Mount Agamenticus Mountains on a clear day from Halibut Point State Park and also explore the trails and tide pools on a trip. It's also interesting to learn about the history of the Cape Ann granite industry. The park is open from 8 a.m. to sunset and charges a parking fee from Memorial Day through October 31st. Number 7. Mount Holyoke Range State Park Mount Holyoke Range State Park is a 3,000-acre park that has a 7-mile mountain ridge, streams, woods, and wetlands. Come to explore the over 30 miles of blazed trails. Plan to do the popular Seven Sisters Trail, which is an 8-mile hike with great lookouts. Number 8. Salem Maritime National Historic Site Salem Maritime National Historic Site was the first National Historic Site established in the U.S. and has been a local destination since 1938. Here you'll find 9 acres of land that has 12 historic structures along the waterfront and also a visitor center. It's in an urban area of Salem and tells the story of New England's maritime history. Number 9 New Bedford Whaling National Historical Park the New Bedford Whaling National Historical Park is another top NPS site in Massachusetts and one that tells a story about local history. Kids can join a free story hour on Friday mornings, and there's a fun Junior Ranger New Bedford e-book for young explorers too. The Nathan and Polly Johnson House is a popular attraction for tours. Number 10. Nickerson State Park, Brewster. Nickerson State Park is a Cape Cod area park that spans 1,900 acres and has trails and ponds to explore. This is an awesome place to stay overnight too since there are over 400 campsites. There is a daily parking fee for residents and non-residents between Memorial Day and October 31st. People also come here to fish in the eight freshwater ponds. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.